Keep, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Still put down by your opinion, man. Exactly. Keep going, he puts them down. When I was younger, there was creep classes for all the students there. And there hasn't been for like six, six years, seven years, I've never seen a creep teacher in that school. There should be a creep teacher there. We also have no librarian. No books are being read. Everything is just there. But nobody uses it because we have no... We have no encouragement to read. We have no encouragement to be ourselves. All I've been hearing is people putting each other down, people fighting in victory. Where's the connectedness of our nation? If we stay connected, we can have happiness. We can be peaceful. All I want is connectedness. Today I cried because all I see was victory. See, nothing done, nothing was people just wanting power. That's <coughs> All you people want is power. In that school, I was taught achievements for the people, not for himself. But I don't see that. Where did you achieve? You ran away? Yeah, I did. You better change council. Hey, uh, you want different achievements, different councils, not the same ones. For the last how many years now, the same ones get nominated all the time. I want different people next time. I'm able to be a counselor too. I worked all my life. You need workers, the hard workers, to be in there. There's not even a job for people here. You gotta have work skills in order to be a, you know, a leader. You don't have work skills. In the office is not work skills. There's nothing there. You, you gotta, you're asking for free funding. That's not, that's not, that's not helping people. <clears throat> Great, some jobs here, okay? Keep going. Counselor? Keep going. There's some jobs that could be created at the school. If you yeah. go over there, take a look at that playground, you'll see it. Losing about yourself all the time. You you'll see like danger for your kids. Your, your own for, Keep for going. Job. You don't even have a proper playground. You don't have a proper soccer field. We fix Keep our car ourselves with tape. <laughs> We do it for ourselves. We have nobody pushing us to go there. We have nobody bringing us together. We bring ourselves together. At least get us <coughs> next. Like you see us playing there every day. And just the other day while I was walking there, a six-year-old, a five-year-old, and a 10-year-old came up to me and they asked me if I wanted to go get out Because they had nothing else to do. I cried because I seen my fellow youth hide. Little kids, because they had nothing to do. There's nothing here for us as youth. There's nothing. And I'm sick and tired of it. Well, is that it? Or 
Keep going. You keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. It's not just us here. You have to think about the youth. You have to think about the generations to come. What are they going to have? I have nothing. Look at my pants. It's freaking ripped. I have nothing. I have no place to go. I have no encouragement to go get a job. I have no, nothing oh. offered to me here. And if I do try to sign up, I get pushed aside and somebody else with a different last name than mine gets put. Keep going. Excuse me, Brian, I'd like to thank you for staying a few moments longer and listening to the youth. I know you stood back there, <laughs> but I, I just witnessed the most disrespectful incident to the young people of this community, and I'm really saddened and appalled by it. What just transpired is what has happened every time in our meetings, and I will stand by these young people. It's time. I need you to come and stand beside them, Brian. You're the last leader in here. The rest walked out. And Vernon, I need you. I'm calling you because I'm going to stand by the youth as a mom, a grandma, an auntie. I don't even know these kids. <laughs> but who else is going to stand by them? Because if you let the hearts of the children fall and break, we have nothing left. We came here today to meet and put changes to that band custom. I let go my work for the next two days. And I'm waiting for that to happen. We're not even fulfilling the purpose of why we're here. And these kids came here today to say something to be heard and to help create a positive change. They are our life force. These ones are going to be here for this little one right here when I'm gone. And I need them to be strong. Well, I guess it's, uh, if I can say uh, a word or two, uh, it's a little difficult to... Uh, to uh, Time to talk over these 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 two children, the youth. The school board, the school committee, the principal, director of education, and portfolio um, member of council. We are burning two of them. I don't know how the budgets, in terms of the nets and stuff like that things that the school needs, the question about the librarian issue or whatever, I don't know quite the, because that's not my portfolio in yet, Vernon knows about, about, about that area, and I don't know, I don't know how can, how it can be, Creek classes, they don't allow, like across the board, but uh, other First Nations, they provide Creek teachers. And well, that's only one of the issues. There's many issues yeah, at well, hand. Why don't we get some women together uh, that are in the community, because I'm not in the community, but even people that are in the cities, you know, let the word out. I got, I got the word now, so I'll be doing something in Saskatoon to try and raise funds for this matter that you brought up today. So you know you got my backing. You know that I'm going to be doing something in Saskatoon from this for day forward for the youth. I, I'll choose baskets. It's baskets you brought up. So that's what I'm going to start raising money for in Saskatoon for public donation for the youth. So, I mean, uh, I'm not going to be bringing in golf carts. I'm going to be bringing in baskets. 
I might go on to Gigi, I might have a bingo, I'll, I'll sew some blankets, Actually, but you got my support in that area. Actually, to honestly tell you the truth, when I used to work in finance, finance, there was people that were, like the teachers and everything was fine, everything, all the bills are paid, everything like that, everything ran accordingly. But the school board that had, had no authority at all, Dwayne had the authority, just to let you know that. There, there, there is new equipment too, uh, probably locked up the way. Gordon Apple keeps all the new equipment in a secure place. We're talking about the playground. <coughs> the playground is a death trap waiting oh to happen for God. these children. You go to that, that playground? I challenge all of you parents and elders to go look at that playground over there. Once you see the condition of that playground, you'll, you'll be so disgusted. There's bridges that are broken there, and the kids still play there. And whose job is it to, uh, to get that, uh, those fields in, in, in perfect shape? It's the caretaker. Who's the caretaker at the school? Norman George is supposed Norman to be. Norman George hasn't done a damn thing over there. Holds, holes in our fields? I think we Taking care of the uh, grounds and everything? Don't worry about it. Okay, I think the matter well, here is... That's what these guys are talking about. Excuse me, Uncle. You want to... Excuse me, Uncles. Uncles, excuse me. You're going to put my name on the chairman. I'll call this meeting right off. Okay? I know her, that's why I brought her here. But uh, she was not allowed to, to talk. I think the issue here is, I'm sorry, my uncle's to interfere was what happened here to the young people who wanted to speak and it wasn't done even though he said in, in all likelihood in reality what nobody is speaking about if you're following that election code they, there's a charge at hand here they pleaded guilty to we're just running around in circles here but I, I, I'm really affected by this, what happened to the youth today, and I never thought I would see that happen here. That the, one, the <coughs> years I walked out, all these young people a <coughs> public apology. They owe all of us an apology. It wasn't the fact that they wanted to speak, it was the fact that they tried to use the code. <laughs> I didn't hear you, sorry. It wasn't the fact that they wanted to speak, it was the fact that they were trying to be used as voters. Everybody knows I don't know, you'll need to What are we that. trying to be used as voters for? Listen, Do you know it? Listen, we're not even old enough to vote. We're not even old enough to vote. We're standing up for ourselves. We're standing, we're standing up, up for, for ourselves, the youth. the youth. Do you mind? Let me speak. No. What you're saying is wrong. Where's the respect? I Where's your respect? You're putting us down there. thinking I we're trying to get there. votes for other people? I stood there and let you guys speak. This is speak. the voice of our youth. It's my turn. It was misunderstood that you guys wanted to vote. Well, it's good. All I can say is that the youth had a chance to speak. They want to be heard. That's all okay. that should matter. Yes, that was the issue. Okay. Yeah, let's go. They weren't brought here to vote. They brought themselves.